County is on its way to another big milestone in its blight flight fight rather 500 demolished structures. But with the big numbers, some folks are asking, what about my neighborhood? Anthony Montalto met up with some people who live on Cedar Street this afternoon who are asking that question. He tells us one woman's story and also gives us an update on the county's blight removal numbers. Take a look behind me. Do you see a house? Well, I promise you it's there because Donna Howard lives right across the street and she says every single day she asks, when is something going to get done? See, I look at that every day and I wonder what's going on with that. Howard has no choice. If she walks out to her car to drive to church. Greater overcoming 1708 Third Street. There the house is overgrown with trash all around. Me and my brother, we would uh clear the, the, the garbage because people come by here and throw the garbage and so we clear the garbage up and cut the bushes back and cut the grass but to no avail. Court records and a sign on the door show the house was condemned years ago. Howard says she's asked the county about the house before. The last inspector I talked to told me that it was on the list to be one of the bulldoze properties, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what they're going to do about it. Code Enforcement Director JT Ricketson says the county actually has several lists. There are 37 complete blight lists coming out to nearly 1,900 properties they're watching. The folks who own those houses pay an extra tax, seven times their property tax, but they could get bumped to one of the knockdown lists if the house poses a public safety threat. Howard's not sure the house is dangerous to folks on her street, but she does want something done. It's a house not live in, it decays. Yeah, it has to have life in it in order for it to, you know, it has to be uh, fulfilling its purpose. Now, Rickinson says this week he turned in lists number 11 and 12 for knockdowns, and he's already gotten started on list number 13. He says they're working as fast as they can to resolve blight countywide. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Since the county started knocking down blighted properties, they've posted big numbers each year. They've demolished 468 properties in total. From April to December 2021, they had 100 demolitions. 2022 brought more than 300 properties torn down. The county also partnered with Google to create a blight monitoring platform and track it as it develops. In January, Macon Bibb commissioners okayed $7.5 million in American Rescue Plan money for affordable housing and eliminating blight. Meanwhile,